Today, I wanna to show you the fastest and what I think is the best way to deploy Nuxt apps today. And so I'm gonna take a look at how you can deploy a Nuxt app with server-side rendering to AWS Amplify hosting. Now, full disclosure, I work at AWS, but I really think this integration really makes a lot of sense and I think you should check it out. So what's a little different about this is that we actually work directly with the Nuxt team. They help create a preset adapter for us and it works awesome. It has zero configuration and it's really straightforward to use. You basically just create your Nuxt app and then you sign into your AWS console and you just tell it what Git repository you're using and it connects it all up. And then next time you push, it creates your website and it supports custom domains and all those other things that you're looking for from a hosting provider. Yeah, so let me jump into the code and I'll show you how it works. So I'm in a brand new Nuxt application that I just created. You can see here, I don't have any special configs or anything in here. All I did is I went into the app.view, I changed it to Nuxt page. And then I added a pages folder and then I have the most simplest of, of apps here. All it does is says hello from pages and then it pulls this uh, information from data.hello. So I created a API route just called hello.ts. Uh, I guess we could change this. We could do hello, Eric, and then we save it and this is it. So this uses a server side route. If we wanna test it out, I'm gonna go run npm run dev. And there it is, hello from Eric. So you can see it's working as expected, but let's see how we would deploy this to our hosting provider. So to start hosting it, I'm gonna use AWS Amplify. We're really excited. We worked really hard on this. And like I said, we work really closely with the Nux team. All right, so first you have to log into your AWS console. If you don't have uh, an AWS account, you can get one for free. They also have a 12 month free plan where you get a whole bunch of extra hours and everything for free. I would check that out. And then I would search for AWS Amplify and click on it. Then when you get to this screen here, you just need to click new app and then host web app, choose GitHub, and it'll go ahead and connect up to your GitHub if you're not already connected to it. I'm already authorized with it. And then it'll allow you to select your repository. So I have it called Nuxt App Deploy 2, which I went and selected. I'm going to click next. I can choose a branch. And then it should automatically detect that I'm using the latest version of Nuxt and it'll have this MVM use pack. I can edit this build and test settings if I wanted to do something else in my CI CD pipeline, but I'll just leave it as default. I'll go ahead and select enable SSR app logs. And this is really nice. So that way if I have any server issues with any of my SSR API routes, they'll show up in CloudWatch and then I can take a look at them. There's also some advanced settings if I wanna change what container I wanna use, but we'll leave it all default. I'll just click next here. And then I'll click save and deploy. And now what it'll do is it will grab the information from the GitHub repository and then deploy it. Now I could use a custom domain here too, but let's just give this a second, it should deploy. Okay, great, it's finished. You can see it went from provision, build, deploy. I can also look at these logs if I wanted to. But now if I click here, it has a preview link and it should show up. Hello pages. You know, you can see here, my change didn't go through though. So why is that? It's because I actually made the change in the repository, but I didn't push it up. So let's do that real quickly. Okay, so I'm in my Git repository here. If I go Git status, you can see here, I have my API, I made my change. That's a change to package lock. So I'm just going to do this all through the console. I'll add it and then I'll commit it. Uh, committed, doesn't matter. And then I'm gonna push. Okay, so it's deployed. Now if I click on here again, now you see hello, from pages Eric. So this is how straightforward it is to get started. Leave a comment below. Let me know if this helps you guys out. I think this is probably the best way to deploy your app on Nux today with this new featured preset adapter. I think it's pretty straightforward. Thanks.